what's going on y'all let me do this review right quick um um what is this basketball wise la we ain't seen the last year last year last week because it was um it didn't come on it was the holiday weekend or whatever it just didn't come on um this episode came on and i sure enough had forgot what the, the week before was about until they started doing this whole shit about the uh drea shit and all that stuff oh pause just in case you know if i don't um, you know, I do the haves and the have nots on Tuesday. It's a possibility that it might not be up Tuesday, but probably be up Wednesday because I will be gone Tuesday and I don't know if the place I get have um uh, will I be at will have, you know, that channel or whatever the fuck. But it's a um it's some shit that um I, I gotta go take care of. Um so I might it might be up, it might not, you know, so there you go. Just in case y'all wondering. But let me get into this shit. And I ain't even finna go, listen, this, so I've heard that Dre is not even coming to the reunion. I guess, I don't know if this gonna be her last, last week was her last episode, I don't know. But, Dre is not coming to the reunion, um, so basically she's doing the same thing that she did last year. And I understand, I wanted to rehash and, you know, have everybody just sit there and attack and you not really be able to defend yourself, but you say stuff, you gotta, I would rather you open up your mouth and say something to defend yourself, but you know, it is what it is, I really don't care, 9 out of 10 is the show, is not coming back, but let's get into this episode, so Brandy's still pissed off about, they still at the Gatsby event, the breast cancer event, Jackie realizing that, you know, Dre is gone, she pissed off, and they just trying to make it seem like, okay, fuck it. Don't let it get to you, Brandy. Don't cry. Come over here, girl, and sign this $5,000 check. I mean, okay, cool, whatever. So, it irked me so much that, yes, I understand. Dre said some fucked up things and did some fucked up things. But they just kept bringing her ass up and bringing her ass up. I'm like, please be over it. Yes, she said some fucked up things. How many times y'all gonna say the same fucking thing over again? Brandy, yes, yeah, somebody want to bring it up. You got all what is so wrong with just saying I'm not gonna talk about it or just walking the fuck away? Quit. Ugh, ugh. I know this shit is scripted, so it's probably written down in the script for you to talk about this shit. But anyway, Malaysia, she doing her little lingerie line. Angel shows up because she's still gonna work with her. Angel and her was originally gonna work together. She was gonna have her come in and help and all this stuff. And it wasn't even a lingerie line. It was a um like best spread or you know something like that. And Angel brought some little lingerie and all this stuff. And here go Malaysia. Malaysia with these little sad ass comments. She was like, you know, the shit look all raunchy. I'm trying to look like a sexy mom and all this stuff. Not some little hoe or whatever. And I'm sitting here like, she didn't use her clothes. She didn't use her clothes. And I would have felt some type of way if I was Angel too. Okay, Angel on there trying to, truth be told, every damn scene, damn near every scene, Angel was on here trying to promote or put it out there that she do clothes and all this stuff. And um, I see what she trying to do. So she trying to take advantage of this little TV shine. So let me go ahead and promote my business. But a bitch won't wear my clothes and shit. And every time I do something, it's like some, I just get uh, 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 sidetracked or, or, or thrown aside or whatever. Like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it or whatever. And the fact of the matter is, Malaysia, you should have called up Angel and told her what the look was that you was looking for. Okay, you should have called her up if you were still gonna have this girl come. You should have called her up so she wouldn't come down there with the wrong stuff and be standing there looking stupid or feeling the type of way after she came there and be like, "Bitch, I'm done with you. You and I'm not doing nothing else for you." Okay, then all of a sudden, um, I don't know, was it either Brandy or then they brought up the fact that um Angel left. With Drea, either way, I think it probably was Brandy them or, or Malaysia, whatever. What if somebody brought up the fact that Drea left? Okay, what happened? Why you leave? And all that stuff. So I think it was Malaysia, Brandy and them. And then, you know, Angel was like, well, you know, I didn't have to leave, but I was going to leave with my friend. And I'm sitting here like, how you going to get pissed off at Angel for leaving with her friend? Because that's her real friend. Because let something would have happened between you and Malaysia and the, the roles were reversed. Brandy, you would have left with Malaysia. Okay, you would have did the same damn thing. And, um, I 
I was just confused. I was like, how dare you ask her that question? She's going to go with where her friend that she's known longer than you, okay, is going to go. She came with the girl. She's going to go with the girl. So I was not surprised that Angel left and went with Dread. But what irked me about Angel is you got this situation and then you got Shawnee up there talking um, to Tammy. They brought Tammy on this bitch just to be fucking messy, okay? She's being the instigator to time, uh, Tammy's, uh, to Shani's instigator, okay? And, I mean, I was here for Tammy coming on, but it's like, girl, I don't want you on here just being messy as fuck. But the thing about Tammy is what well, she'll say to one person, she'll say that shit to your face and tell her that, yeah, I said this to her because she was doing some messy shit. And, you know, Tammy was basically like, throw a brunch or some shit, you know, so I can meet all the girls. And Shani basically telling her that all the girls, is this this group of girls ain't like the ones in Miami. Like, if we had some stuff in Miami, we'll just talk it out and be done with it. These girls is crazy. These girls is this. These girls is that. They not really established. Bitch, none of them hoes was established, was no more established on Miami than they are on fucking L.A., okay? All right, so, like, quick... Don't come on another franchise of a series trying to compare them. If they were the same, they would be in the same damn city. Okay? They would be on the same damn season. They're not. They're different. All right? So, you can't compare. Like, stop that, Shiny. If that's the case, if, why the fuck are you on here? You know? And she was just trashing Drea to um Tammy and all the other girls. And, you know, this is where Angel kind of pissed me off a little bit. Because they had a meetup and they had the brunch. First of all, Jackie acting like she ain't never seen Tammy Roman. Oh, my God. No, the fuck you didn't. I'm sitting here like, why are you acting like this? It's just fucking Tammy. And you and you yourself said y'all didn't met because y'all rolled around the same circles or whatever. You too old to be acting hyped off of somebody like that. Like, come on. But um, after that, once again, the subject matter of Dreyash comes up. And Jackie is the only one that's left in the loop about why Drea left and why Brandy had an issue with her. And she was telling she she let it out saying that, you know, Drea said the cancel was born, all that bullshit. I'm so tired. Yes, that was fucked up. Yes, I understand Brandy is getting pissed and she has every right to feel a way about it because it was said to her, it was said about her. And a lot of people there, they were affected. But, but girl, I'm tired of you bringing this up. Can we move on? Can we fucking move on? Is this gonna be is this gonna go on for another episode? Cause I wanna hear this shit. Alright, I don't. I sympathize with you so much last week because I personally know somebody at this current moment going through that shit. And it's not a fucking it's not something to be played with or take lightly. But god damn bitch. Is this gonna be your storyline? Okay, you you trying to you, you ugh, let it go. Be pissed off, and if you're gonna be pissed off. Go ahead and try to reach out to Drea and tell her why you pissed off. And if she don't want to reach out to you back, let it the fuck go. Don't keep going around saying it. And even if somebody else bring it up, don't even fucking engage into it. All right? And then you got Angel when they was at the photo shoot and when they was at this little brunch, she trying to defend Drea. Um, cause Brandy at the brunch read a message that Drea said, basically saying that she was petty and it was, you know, she don't give a fuck and all that shit, yada, yada, yada. Angel like, um, that's not what she meant. Now, she should have said, I don't think that's what she meant. You know, instead of that's not what she meant. Angel fucked up in the sense that she was speaking as if she was Drea's mouthpiece. She was speaking as if she was actually there and she witnessed and heard everything that was said between Brandy and Drea and she did not. What she heard was what Drea told her and she really was not trying to hear Brandy's side. But what I understand and what I totally 100% get about Angel is that you not finna bad mouth my friend while I'm still standing here. I'm gonna try to defend her to the best of my abilities, okay? Because that's what real friends fucking do. But when a bitch is telling you, I don't want to hear it no more. Don't bring her up. Let it the fuck go. Because there ain't no reasoning with her right now. You were not there, so you can't, you know, just let, just let it go. But I totally get why, um, you know, Angel was there and she was defending her friends. Anybody would do that. Anybody would do that. But it just felt like... 
she wasn't trying to hear the other person. And then Brandy was kind of like, every time Angel t opened up her mouth, she was taking out her anger or whatever because she felt like Angel was being a mouthpiece or basically Drea right there. So she going to take out her frustration with Drea on Angel. And then you got Shiny just talking shit and talking shit. I'm like, Shiny, just admit that you don't like Drea and you never did. Okay, just admit that because I'm tired of you. I'm tired. You're too fucking old for this shit. And then, you know, you got... Malaysia going to talk to um going to talk to Tammy and she talking about her relationship with Jackie and ba oh when Tammy said are y'all click sisters do y'all clickety clack clack much much carpet I said bitch leave it to Tammy to go ahead and ask the question she was like I ain't said but word around the street is you know so I just wanted to ask you know if you want me to believe that y'all not doing that okay I'm gonna believe it and I was like all right so that was kind of cute but Malaysia just had a little breakdown talking about, you know, Jackie was fucked up for the shit that she said to her and she was going through a lot of stuff and, you know, uh, Dre was fucked up in that sense too because, you know, she's always there for the good times, never there for the bad times. I just got tired of them. Yes, Dre said some fucked up things and did some fucked up things. Like, I really was not on Dre's side this whole season, but I was just tired and felt the way about them talking shit about her and she was not there and w probably won't be there to fucking defend herself. Like, y'all really making her be the villain and all that shit i was just like uh okay and then here go tammy taking this information that she got from um fucking malaysia and how she feels about jackie because she basically said that jackie wasn't her friend malaysia told tammy the same shit that she told jackie to her fucking face in the beginning of this season okay we are not friends we're gonna be building on to see if we can become cordial like you know Similar of friends, but not the actual friends word. Okay. Malaysia didn't told her this already to her damn face. Tammy goes and tell that to Jackie mm -hmm. and was like, basically, uh, I don't think Malaysia like you the way that you think. Oh, so that bitch don't like me. So we fucking done. Okay. We fucking done. This, you know, she said she was the one. This group is a group of women that are misfits and I'm the only one who got my shit together. So, and I said, bitch, what? Are you serious? You the only one that got your shit together? Man, you go back to the brunch when they found out, when Jackie found out what Dre said about the cancer shit. You know, all of a sudden, Jackie is like, Dre is dead to her because everybody that didn't have somebody dealing with cancer. But I do recall you laughing or something about Brandy. That was the whole reason why Brandy was pissed off about you. But okay, Dre, uh, Jackie, you want to play that game? You can play that game. But, you know... It did affect everybody because just about everybody that did, you know, have somebody that passed away from cancer, you know, Tammy did. And that was incorporated in their storyline, which made them more interesting and made them more human, you know, and not all this fuck shit. Even when Jackie was going through it with her mama, I actually felt something, you know, for her besides the fact that she was crazy as fuck. I didn't even think of her like that. I just said, okay, this is a human side of Jackie, you know, it was fucked up. But still, you know, moving off of that, she, she all up in her feelings now. So, Malaysia having a little event for her little bedspread stuff, and Jackie is there. She come there with Doug, and she's in her feelings. Tammy told Malaysia what she told Jackie, and she was like, so I just want y'all to talk this shit out, like, because y'all got this uh, fucked up opinion, um, you know, thing about friends and shit. Y'all don't know what y'all are. And Jackie was like, I adore you, and I'm here because my friend and all this stuff, and yada, yada, yada. Malaysia had to tell that bitch, like, girl, I'm not a fake bitch. I told you to your face. Listen, Jackie, she trying to say that Malaysia was playing her, playing games with her. Malaysia never played games with your ass. She told you to your face that y'all are not friends. Y'all can be cordial for the moment, but y'all are not friends. Y'all are trying to build to see if something can happen between that. And then when that comes out again and you hear her sell it to your face again, you want to get upset. You want to get upset. And then you talking about some, you know, with these group of girls, they're desperate. And I'm the only one that got my shit together. So you never know what they want to do. The only desperate bitch up in this group is you, um, Jackie. 
You sitting here getting pissed off because somebody told you for the umpteenth time to your face that they are not friends with you, but they are trying to be cordial to the point that they can see if they can become some type of relationship with you. And you want to get pissed off. And because of that, you trying to you trying so hard to be friends with these girls. But when they say something to do something that you don't like, you want to get pissed and go throw low bows, blows and stuff like that. And you wonder why bitches don't want to be your friend. You talking about some um, when um, Malaysia get up. Brandy was like, you throwing shade. And she was like, shade is when you put lipstick on for a husband that you do have. And all that shit. That was not necessary, Jackie. Because Doug can leave anytime he wants to. Just because you've been married so many years, that don't mean that that nigga ain't going to wake up one day and be like, bitch, I'm gone. What you going to do then? All right? And you want to be her friend? You up here, you the one crying. You the one getting upset. And in your feelings because a bitch won't be your friend. I just don't understand it. it. It irked my nerves. And I was just like, see, and you, that's what Jackie does. Like, that's why you don't have friends like you're supposed to. Or that's why it's betrayed that you don't have friends. Because once you get them, you take something real personal and you throw it back at them. And then um, you're supposed to say, that's how I am. And please forgive me. And I'm sorry. And everything's supposed to be back. Kumbaya. No, it don't work that way. But basically that was the end of the episode because brandy went and told malaysia what happened and then we see um malaysia confront um jackie and then next week it's some jackie acting like she's finna fight but bitch whatever um y'all tell me how y'all feel about this episode and i will see y'all later peace marriage medicine coming up